Hi, my name is Mick Underwood and I'm Principal of Willunga Primary School. It's my pleasure today to talk to you about the environmental program that we run at our school, a program that I'm particularly proud of. It allows a group of students to connect with our school, our town and our community in a way that they develop ownership and also foster their learning about environmental education. We started with seven kids in 2007 and this year we've had over 40 students that want to be part of the EnviroKids program. With the work that they do, they get a lot of encouragement, not only from the school but also from um, community groups like Trees for Life, community groups like Wollonga Hills Face, um, the Wollonga Environment Centre. They can see what the students are doing and they congratulate them. One of the main projects that we're involved in, as you would have seen today at the creek, is um, we do a lot of uh, riparian assessment of the creek where the students go out and they look at the macroinvertebrates that are in the water. We also look at some of the, um, the trees and also the animals around there and we collect the data for that so that we can make assessments for the future about how it's developing. Um, we also do a lot of work with the native fish, the mountain galaxias, where we have a lot of help with Jeremy from, our, from the NRM. One of the important aspects of the engaging with nature program is not only to monitor the local environment and, and take action, but also to share that information with the local community. And this is one of the areas where Willunga Primary stands out in that there's a massive amount of community involvement. And an example of that is the Willunga Almond Blossom Festival that we, we did last year in conjunction with the school and we'll be doing again, where the students have a display with lots of the native animals that, they, that live in the area, lots of information about the plants and, and I guess all the revegetation work and other environmental initiatives that the school's been undertaking. We've recently put in a bush tucker garden which is based on the um, Trevilke Trail. We've got the vegetable garden, which is great resource for using with maths and sciences. We've got the butterfly garden, which is we use a lot so we can watch the, the butterflies develop from caterpillars. So what we're doing is we are fostering environmental leadership within these students. So these students can then go on to be representatives of their community. With the future, with the EnviroKids, what I hope to do is to make it an integral part of school curriculum. To do this, what I want to do is a bridging program with the high school so that the, the education doesn't stop here, so it continues on through high school. And all in all, these programs allow some of our students who have keen interest in the environment to be able to explore that, develop their interests, so hopefully that they will not only look after the environment in the future, but they will take that learning further forward for them in their own field.